This video was made by request of this person's year 8 class. I'm always happy to listen to your ideas, so if you want a video made on a certain topic, leave a comment below. Volcanoes are, without a doubt, some of the most interesting geographical and geological features Earth has to offer. On the face of it, they're mountains with the capability to spew fire and ash everywhere, but just like anything on this planet, there's a whole lot more detail we can go into when it comes to volcanoes. The word volcano comes from Vulcan, the Roman god of fire. This is actually kinda ironic, and you'll see why later. For now, let's focus on the theory of plate tectonics. The theory of plate tectonics says that the Earth's crust is divided into 16 plates, which move around very slowly on the mantle, which is a massive layer of hot rock with the consistency of caramel, but it certainly doesn't taste as good. Almost all volcanic activity happens on the boundaries of these tectonic plates, and most eruptions are formed when two plates move apart, but this mostly happens underwater. This means the majority of volcanic eruptions you can't actually see, unless you're Aquaman. Land volcanoes are formed when an oceanic plate goes underneath a continental plate. The oceanic plate effectively melts in the mantle, creating magma. Occasionally this magma finds its way to the surface. What you just saw was a volcanic eruption, and you may be thinking, wow, look at all that magma! Ah, uh, you sweet innocent child. That's actually lava once it comes out of the volcano. And not just lava, may I add, but volcanic gases made of steam and various other elements, and also tephra, which is just solid stuff, so mostly rocks. The clip you saw was the Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia, whose 1883 eruption created a sound wave that traveled around the world seven times. After 1883, the massive eruption basically caused the top of the volcano to blow off, creating a special part of the volcano called a caldera. While Krakatoa is big, its caldera is not that massive. Another Indonesian volcano, Mount Tambora, has one that's over 6 kilometers wide. Another type of volcano that is pretty wide are shield volcanoes. These are volcanoes with long sloping sides, like Mauna Kea in Hawaii. They're formed by fast moving lava flows. On the opposite hand, stratovolcanoes have steep sides which are formed by slower moving lava eruptions, like Mount Fuji. Over time, many eruptions create layers of rock which form either a wider or taller cone shape depending on how thick the lava is. If the lava is really thick, it can form a special type of volcano called a lava dome. When the lava erupts, it flows so slowly that it can't move out of the way and just get stuck on top of the volcano, which I think is kind of stupid sounding. But they do end up looking pretty cool, like the Soufriere Hills volcano on the island of Montserrat. So, to the Year 8 class, I hope your thirst for volcanoes is now quenched. And to everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please consider dropping a like or even subscribe. I'm Geography Goose, and I'll see you next time.